One thing that has impressed me the most in Greece is the amazing beer here. There's over 150 breweries, there's so many, and Manolis is going to show us the best beer in Athens. Now we're starting from Tales of Ales in the heart of Athens. Great selection of local beers, and now we're gonna see how the Greek craft scene has a new renaissance. Ooh, all right, let's go. In Greek, that reads Orchista Vatia. It's a lager with sea salt. With sea what? Sea salt. Sea salt. Okay. And this is what the Greek mother would say: like, don't go too deep. <laughs> oh, don't go too deep into the beach. <laughs> too deep. This is such a cool bar over here. I love all the drafts that they have. Yamas. Yamas. Mm. We have the saltiness. Yeah, it's really good. The saltiness actually balances out the hops. It's not too hoppy. I'm blown away. We have session IPA. The symbol of Athens, it's called light feather. Until 200 years ago, Greece had no beer at all. Oh, when no. they were here. I cannot imagine Greece without beer. At this there, point. there was a time, there was a time. <laughs> it was all about distilled grapes and wine. Okay. But uh, when our, the first king of Greece, Otto, was German, yeah. and he wasn't happy that there wasn't any beer in Greece. So he and his friends, they created the first breweries in Greece. And because we had no legislation, they copied and they brought a lot of German legislation. Still to this day, yeah. Greece has purity law. Do you happen to know purity law? In yeah, the wrong guys boat? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay. Doesn't make any sense now, Greece. Okay. Greece. But you still have, have it. And it actually doesn't mean that microbreweries create new creative beers mm. because beers by legislation has to be just Okay, beer number two. It's... Ooh, this one's very hoppy. We are over hopped in the U.S. But the hops actually are pretty good here in Greece. Yes. Okay, that was an amazing bar. Now I'm excited to try even more here in Athens. Let's see what else is in store. How much? So here we're trying crafty ale and I like it, it's very smooth. I'm very curious about this goat one. Let's try the goat. Do you happen to know Folegandro? It's a small island in the Cyclops. Yeah. And as many small islands, it's full of goat. Why the branding here is goat. And the way we say goat in Greek is katsika. Katsika, okay. And that's the branding. This is the jackpot. That's Yamas to yeah. that, wow. That is amazing. Oh, wow. Or is that cat that's that? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> we are now living our first wave of good microbreweries and people had to struggle a lot mm. but it's great because people that produce all of this they really love it mm. and it shows in their product and we have really good craft beers and we by drinking small producers we are supporting more and more productive young Greeks that they want to follow their dreams mm. and do better beers. That's cool that's that's what I love about Greece is similar with coffee. There's a lot of entrepreneurial spirit when it comes to beer here. And they're not dependent on these massive corporations either. We started close to Sidagma, between Sidagma and Monasiraki. Yeah. We passed through Plaka. Now we're in Acropolis. Over there we have Acropolis Museum. And all the way down we have uh, Kukaki. Alright, we're going to Kukaki. Let's go. Guys, it's Kurdish, which is a good sign. The bread is Greek, so it's a weird mix. It's neither dinner nor snack. <laughs> it's right in the middle. <laughs> it's right in the middle. Nice. All right, let's try this uh, donor kebab in the middle of Athens. Mmm, I really like it. Great choice of pita. The kebab is very pink. That's all combining really well. Mmm, I like it. The guy that made it's a food scientist. We also have the brewer, and we also have a Greek moonshiner. The name of this beer is 608. Mm. Athena Galazzi. Mm. It's actually the, the number of the bus goes through Athens. <laughs> okay. So probably the guys who make it, they have used a lot of this bus, yeah. 608. And that's why they, na they named the beer after the bus. Yamas. It is very, very hoppy, but it's refreshing, it's crisp. The hops taste a little bit more grapefruit. I like it. The one that you will drink now and the oh, smell of this. Here we have a collaboration between 
blame the sun and holes. So blame the sun is here in Athens. Holes is in the country Moldova. We have the purity law. Yeah. So you cannot really be experimental. In this case, they also wanted to add spice, makhlep, mm. which is, it comes from sour cherry seed. They actually created the beer in Moldova and then they imported it because that makes actually more sense. It smells like a church. I'm not sure if the spice is used as incense. Mm, it's really good. It almost smells also like a Turkish delight. I meant Greek delight. Greek delight. Okay, so we are going for our very last stop. Now we're going to Strange Brew. Ooh. We will be in the main pedestrian street of Pugaki. Okay. It's full of life, super Greek. People like to go there, spend their nights. So here we have a extra special stout and we have a farmhouse ale. How is it? Ooh, it's so crisp. Oh, it feels like sitting down at the beach, the waves crashing ashore. There's a little bit of like an orangey, citrusy taste to it. But I feel like my entire body is being soothed by the Grecian sun. But let's try the extra special stout. Let's do it. Ooh, this is quite the opposite. Very chocolatey notes to it. Crisp as well for a stout. Really good. That was an epic beer tour. Where can people find more of your tours? Greek Lens. I'm waiting to see you in Athens. Highly recommend exploring the beer scene here in Athens. It is wonderful. As the Greeks say, Delia. Stay curious, my friends.